Hey, it's Chris, and today we're gonna be looking at two devices, both of which are really, 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 really cool. One is a fanless mini PC stick that runs Windows 10. The other is a multifunction remote that does some pretty incredible things. Now, you don't have to use them together, but you can use them together, and I'm gonna start this off by talking about this cool remote. Right here, I'm holding in my hand the link. That's spelled L-Y-N-K. This is a remote that lets you control almost anything you can think of, from Windows to Linux to Android to the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. It's got six axis gyroscope technology and a 3D motion sense hand grip, audio chat capabilities, a backlit QWERTY keyboard, which is awesome, and obviously, because it's a remote, it does have infrared capabilities. If you look closely, you'll see there's an AI power button, and that helps it learn how to interact with other devices. You've also got keys to enable or disable the mouse and the on-screen keyboard, as well as a directional pad, a menu button, a play pause button, and of course, some volume buttons as well. So let's say that you're in the mood to do some web browsing from your couch. This might be one of the best ways to do that because not only can you type in a URL using the keyboard, but you don't need a mouse or a flat surface to move around and click on stuff. Obviously, and hopefully this is obvious to you, but this would make a killer presentation device. Personally, I really like the way that the voice commands work on this remote, and that's the keyword there, work. They do actually work, and there's so many remotes where that isn't the case. But you press it, there's a built-in mic, and suddenly you're talking to Cortana or Google. Maybe you're doing a Skype with your family or friends, because who doesn't wanna do Skype on the biggest possible screen in your house? Pretty cool. I've also found that this thing makes a really great home theater remote. So I've got a TV, a sound system, a gaming console, a streaming media box, and wouldn't it be nice to just have one remote instead of a bunch of remotes and one that has a keyboard? It comes in really handy. Obviously this remote does a lot, but I've been having the most fun using it with the Access Plus, which is the fanless mini PC that runs Windows 10 from the same company, Azul. This guy uses an HDMI port to connect to your TV, and what's cool is that it comes with an extension cable, so it's pretty much guaranteed to fit whatever your setup is. For graphics, it's got an 8th gen Intel HD graphics card, and that means you can enjoy HD content like daily tech, which looks pretty great on here, I do have to say. It's also got two USB ports, a 2.0 and a 3.0, and that's where you can connect things like a keyboard or a mouse or a remote like the link that I just showed you. You're also gonna find an ethernet port, and I believe this is the only PC stick that has an ethernet port built in like this, along with a micro SD slot and a headphone jack. So yeah, this is a fully functional PC, and it's just incredible to me how small this is. In fact, it's just a little bit bigger than an Amazon Fire TV stick. So these two devices work really well together, the PC stick and the remote, to let you do things like watch Netflix or play stream games or even do Microsoft Office right from your couch. So let's check this thing out. Let's ask Cortana what the weather's like in LA. There you go, the voice input works great. Okay, so let's say that you wanna browse the web. Obviously your first instinct will be to go to YouTube and search for daily tech. So not hard at all, maybe it takes a little bit of getting used to, but it's really easy, works great. So the remote has two Microsoft Start buttons, one on the front, one on the back. I'm gonna click one of those and load up Microsoft Edge. And once that launches, I'm gonna type in youtube.com slash daily tech. And boom, there's my ugly mug right there. You can definitely do some light gaming on this setup, kind of like what you can do on the Apple TV. Gotta love Crossy Road. All right, I'm gonna use maps to search for the best vegetarian food in, let's say, Los Angeles again. Oh yeah, here's Sage right in front of Sunset Boulevard. Cortana, who is the coolest person in the world? Aha! So as you can see, these two devices can combine to make a pretty awesome setup, and I think they're definitely gonna become a part of my permanent collection up in the office. So thanks for watching, guys. You can buy both of these on Amazon. I'll leave those links down in the description, and I'll catch you in the next video. Later.